Welcome back to NRP guys. Today we have this G42 230i. Uh, we're gonna be installing, as you can tell by the title, carbon fiber grills. We're gonna be showing you guys how to install them on this car. So this is a 2023 uh, 230i. Check it out, let me show you the interior real quick. It's a very nice car. It clearly has the same uh, dual screen that we've seen on the G8X cars as well. Um, this one is the M Sport package, which is why it has this uh, stripe right here in the door sill having the M badge. I don't know how I feel about this uh, gear selector though. I think it should, would have been fine with a traditional like hand style, but whatever. So check it out, here is the grill. Looks pretty good. Uh, and look at the stock grill, it's just a chrome trim. And uh, this one also has the active grills, which obviously we won't have to mess with because the carbon is literally just a trim. It's not the actual grill, so. I think they all have active grills. Oh, they all do? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So check it out, it looks pretty sick. Very nice. We'll see how it fits and how it uh, goes in. But uh, basically to start the installation off, you obviously have to take this rubber seal off and then uh, what would you say these are, T20s, 15s? Uh, I mean, first you gotta take this weather stripping cover off. Just a little push clips, four of them. So there's these little clips here that you could uh, push in and then they turn out and then you can pull it up. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight T30s. T30s? So there's like a plastic piece right here that is held in by T30s, two of them that go right there. Oh, there's a bunch, okay. So there's four of them right here. And then uh, you can have a helper try to pull the bumper up a bit for you and just pull it out. Um, the trick to it is that this kind of holds it in. So you just lift it up from the back out and then up and then back and then it comes right out. I'll just fiddle with it. You should figure it out how to do it. And then what we're gonna try to do now is uh, if you can see, Right in there. It's gonna be hard to, sh to show on camera, but um, there's a couple clips that we're gonna try to pop out. Just the top half, and once you get the top half, the other side of it, towards like the bottom and the left, should be a little bit easier to get access to once it's a little loose. Uh, the proper, entirely proper way to do this is obviously to take the entire front bumper off, but we were gonna do that, but for the sake of the video, we wanted to make it a little bit easier for you guys at home. So for those of you that are trying to DIY and just kind of knock it out in your driveway, it's a ton of lot easier to just take off take it off this way. So we're gonna try to see if we can figure it out for you guys. If it ends up being a front bumper type job thing, then obviously try your best. We'll try to make that video for you guys instead. But for those of you that are gonna say this is not the right way to do it, this is the easiest way to do it. And um, you can do this without breaking anything. Something like this is super helpful. Just a long screwdriver. Cause you wanna have at least probably a foot to get in there and start popping the clips. All I'm doing right now is going in on the front side and popping these things out. The hardest one is gonna be this middle one and we'll come up with a trick there to get that. But on the bottom side, there's also clips, but once this is starting to come forward, you'll be able to finagle it out. He's already got some of the driver's side one out, and that's just from hitting the clips. So it does get easier the looser it gets, so you won't have to have as much access. So it is possible, it just takes uh, some finesse. And Eric's got all the finesse for this, I think. Finesse. Finesse. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier, guys, just be careful. If you're doing it this way, you have to be careful because you can break clips like this. And um, it is a little hard to reach area, so make sure make sure you grab yourself a flathead like a long one like Eric suggested. As you can see, it, it's coming out. So now we got the top half of the kidney girls kind of taken out. We were thinking, how the heck are we gonna get to the bottom clips? So we looked at this plastic piece right here. It's literally held on by three T30s? Yes. T30s. Unscrew them, take them out. The piece just comes right out. Look at all that room for activities. Look at that. You can literally make it work this way. So just try to get a visual of the bottom clips and see if uh, you can, probably gonna have to stick your hand inside and try to feel for it first. And then you know what you're doing before you use any tools because then that's how you break stuff. More than likely you're gonna have to do this with your hand anyway because it's just such a tight space. There's like no room whatsoever. Let me show you guys. Yeah, like it's still pretty tight, um, but we're gonna try and uh, get it done for you guys and see if, uh, it's possible. The active grill is still technically in the way to get to the bottom clips here, but taking that black plastic piece off allows Eric to basically help take the plastic piece or trim that's here, and that'll help you pop it out a little bit. And then once you get that loose, you can pretty much confidently start tugging on the bottom half of it because now that it's looser, the tension's just going straight to the clips at the bottom. It's gonna take some force, don't be scared. All I'm doing is kind of just squeezing my thumbs in and squeezing my fingers out at the same time to not mess up 
any of the clips inside. And just remember the active grill is gonna be super loose right now, so just be mindful of that. So behind here, this is this clip needs to come way down. This is the last missing piece in the center, so just push really, really hard on this and then you should be able to unclip. Let's give her a whirl. All right guys, so we got the stock grill out, as you can see. Uh, so honestly, it's not bad at all. You know, these clips, they're all pretty flexible, so they give you a lot of room to wiggle. There's lots of forgiveness. But this middle one right here, if you look carefully, you can see it's one of those clips where you have to push down. Hold it still. It needs to go down like this, yeah. but it's so thick that it barely moves, so we were able to get this from up top. And, and just stick it in. Stick it in and just basically... There's a, little, point. there's a little socket thing here where it goes in, and that's where we stuck that little pick tool, and it uh, allowed us to bend that tab down, and then you just pull it out. So now it's just a matter of uh, putting the new grills in. Uh, should we just... Uh, Clipping everything back in, making sure everything's in place. I guess this is the satisfying part right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could do most of the clipping also, again, once everything's back together, because there's so much play with the bumper. You don't have as much force, but uh, it should clip all in. If, if it doesn't, you know, just do it towards the end once everything's tight. You should hear clips every single time, for the most part, at least. Man, that looks a lot better than the chrome. <laughs> Sheesh. Nice. That's pretty sick. All right, so now it's just a matter of uh, screwing all those plastic pieces back in, putting those T30s back into place, and uh, closing the hood, and then we'll show you guys how it looks. So the front bumper removal was absolutely not necessary. Clearly, as you can tell, we did it without it. So if for those of you at home that are watching that want to do it, without removing the front bumper, it's definitely possible. All right, so obviously before you put the rubber pieces back on, uh, just make sure the fitment is good. Just go ahead and close your hood and make sure your hood gap with the hood and front bumper are not atrocious. We're gonna show you guys that right now. Nice. You wanna look for like an even gap. Looks pretty good to me. Too far in. That's too far in? Too far out. Too far out, okay. So we'll obviously adjust that. You have to adjust yours according to what your result turns out to be. Um, now it's also a good time since the bumper is all pretty much tight right now just to clip back everything, make sure everything's in tight if you hadn't done so already because with the bumper moving back and forth it's a little harder to get forced there but uh, yeah we're just going to readjust this and make sure everything's right, put those rubber pieces back on and then we'll back the car out and show you guys how it looks. We're going to show you guys how it looks with the grills open too, hopefully this opens it. <laughs> Dear, that looks pretty sick! <laughs> closes too. Wow. <laughs> I'll be honest, when you see it in person, it seems a lot cooler than it is when you see it on camera. It's like, oh, why is it doing that so over-engineered for no reason, but it's actually pretty cool. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this installation process on the kidney grills. It's not too bad. Again, you don't have to take the front bumper off. That was the whole point of this video, to show you guys that it is an easier way to do it versus taking the entire front bumper off. Just be careful, be patient with it, and you should be fine. You won't break any clips or anything like that. But that pretty much concludes today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.